Today we're going to show you how to customize your portal view. The Business User Edition portal provides some convenient ways to view your data and allows you to interact with your content and see changes in real time. If you have content available in the Business User Edition, whether you created it yourself or it was shared with you or published by another user, you can view it in its own tab in the portal. Just double-click the item that you want to view and it will load in a new tab on the home page. Within this tab, you can perform any actions that are permitted at runtime, including using InfoMini, drill downs, auto linking, and any of the interactive features available for visualizations. If you run content from your resources tree and then make edits to it in InfoAssist, you can view the updated version instantly on your home page. Open the drop down menu for the tab and click Refresh. The item will reload and show all content changes. You can also use Refresh to bring the chart, report, document, or visualization back to its default state if you have made runtime modifications such as drill downs or slicer selections. You can have as many tabs open on the home page as you want. If you have enough tabs to fill the entire width of the screen, a set of arrows will appear so that you can scroll over to see any tabs that don't fit. To remove a content tab, open the drop down menu and click delete. This will not delete the item itself, just the tab. If you want to remove all tabs in the home page, simply refresh your browser to reload the portal. The tabs will be cleared and you will be left with a Quick Links page. The tab will also be cleared automatically when you sign out or close the portal. If you want to show multiple charts, reports, or visualizations together, you can add them to a portal page. To create a new page, click the New Page button. A blank page opens and the WebFocus resource panel appears on the right side of the browser. To add content to the page, drag an item into it. To add additional content, drag an item onto the set of placement handles in the top right corner and choose its position on the page. The area where the item will be placed is highlighted on the page. You can resize each component once it is on the page. You can reposition a panel on a page by grabbing the title bar and dragging it to a new location. Once again, the area where it will be placed is highlighted. If you want to take a closer look at a particular chart, report, or visualization on a page, you can maximize it from the drop-down menu in the top right corner of the container. You can bring it back to its original size from this menu as well. This menu also allows you to refresh content or delete a panel. Once you've finished creating your new page, you can hide the WebFocus Resources panel by clicking the X in the corner. You can bring it back by clicking Resources in the menu bar. To change the name of the page, Right-click its name and click Change Title. You can also use this shortcut menu to change the order of your created pages, or change the page layout, for example to a columnar layout. You can also refresh or delete the page. If you'd like to find out more, check the resources available in our Information Center.